Well, today we got slightly more new details regarding the upcoming GTA Summer Update. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at in today's video. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another GTA video. My name is Saints Fan, and Rockstar actually put out another newswire today. This time it was actually about their like music record label thing that they're doing. I don't really know why Rockstar's doing this, but regardless, they're making music or something like that. And at the end of this newswire, this was posted. The compilation will also feature in the next GTA Online update with a special DJ mix version showcasing new interpretations of all 20 tracks from the album compiled and remixed by Seth Troxler. For links to listen now and more, visit circularrecords.com. So this is official from Rockstar. We are at least going to be getting 20 new tracks in this upcoming update. I, I don't know if it's going to be a new radio station or if it's just going to be these tracks added to the radio stations that are already in the game but that is something that that is kind of cool it's obviously nothing like major but it is something cool that i, I guess for people who listen to the radio all the time in gta line new stuff is going to constantly be coming that's not all though that was the only official thing i will say but that's not all we got a bunch of other things so fun mw2 said that one of the hidden gems of this update is going to be the go-kart races with power-ups and stuff like that. So that's something that has been teased and hinted at over the last couple of weeks. But if he's saying it, then I would say this is pretty much confirmed it's coming. So that is something to definitely look forward to. It doesn't really fit the theme, though. So I, I do wonder maybe if that'll be something that is drip-fed. Because, I mean, a powered-up go-kart race doesn't really fit the tuner car meet DLC theme that they're they seem to be using here. So I, I'm willing to bet that's going to be one of those like adversary mode type things that they stash for like, you know, a couple of weeks after it actually releases. Now, another thing that fun MW2 said, and it's something that I didn't even really pick up on yesterday in the newswire, but the event does end on Tuesday, July 20th. And he says the new DLC is releasing two weeks from now. And uh, just, I mean, if you want to see it in the actual Newswire, I mean, this was their the title from the Newswire article. The, uh, the actual event week is ending July 19th. Now, I thought that was just a regular old two-week event, but July 19th is actually a Monday. It's actually a Monday in a week and a half, which would mean July 20th, that Tuesday, is the next event week day. And that's completely different from what they've done the last, like, six months course the last like six months it's always a thursday that these event weeks change so now that they're putting it back on a tuesday that's why fun saying the dlc is releasing on that day every single dlc has released on a tuesday and the fact that they're switching it up all of a sudden to be on a tuesday the event week that's just confirmation the dlc is coming out on the 20th so hopefully they just confirm that on the newswire that they talk about the actual dlc probably coming sometime next week maybe next tuesday or something but July 20th definitely seems to be the day. We're like 99% sure that's the day it is releasing. Now, another thing they actually mentioned in the Newswire yesterday that we kind of glossed over, and it was something that I thought just could be interesting to talk about. Say, they said that starting with this event, we will begin removing individual jobs to make room for further updates. These jobs will be cycled in and out over time as we continue to add them or add to the game in the future. So it seems like this next update might be adding a bunch of new jobs and maybe that's one of the reasons they're taking out some of the older ones now i i hope that doesn't mean that all of the new content is going to be like new actual missions that you have to load into but maybe that's what it's sounding like maybe those multi-part robbery missions are just simply glorified regular contact missions and the reason they're removing some of the older ones is because these newer ones they just need room for them I don't know, it's something I thought I would mention because it was sort of at the end of the Newswire yesterday, and uh, I don't know, this could either be a good thing or a bad thing. And then the final thing that is something, this is just speculation here, but a year ago, in the Los Santos Summer Special update, there were a couple of vehicles that were cut. And Wild Brick here in his post from last year says these were the three vehicles. There's actually five, but we'll get to the uh, other two. The Sea Sparrow 2 was a leftover one. I'm willing to bet the Sea Sparrow 2 is probably the one we got, of course, in the Kyle Perico update, so we can kind of cross that one off. The Cargo Bob 5, like a new edition of the Cargo Bob, 
maybe that's something that could be coming with this tuner DLC. Maybe that's how you transport cars to the car meet. Maybe it's a, it's one of the options. So that's that's maybe a vehicle we see. The Surfer 3. This is something that doesn't really fit a tuner's theme, but if Rockstar do want to pad out the vehicles, if they already had this in that summer DLC of last year and they just cut it, well, that could be a, a drip-fed car we get in this DLC. So that's something... Maybe a Benny's variant of it, like he says there. And then the other two vehicles that were cut were actually police vehicles. So the police transporter apparently was cut from that DLC. Some sort of customizable variant of it. And then the police buffalo, another improved and customizable variant of the existing police buffalo. I don't know if we're going to get police cars in this DLC, but... Given the fact that the police DLC, the Cops and Crooks DLC, was happening at one point last year. They did end up not releasing it. They, they cut it. But it was a thing. Rockstar did work on it. There's tons of proof of that. Maybe this Tuner's DLC, they add some of those police vehicles to the game. It would sort of make sense if this is sort of like a Fast and Furious style DLC. You have these sort of illegal car meets going on. Well, hey, throw some police cars in there and it fits, right? Because, of course, the police cars are trying to come after the car meet people, the illegal car meets. So it would be kind of cool if we finally get those customizable police cars in this upcoming DLC. But anyway, those are the new details we got and maybe sort of looked over yesterday. If we find out any more, of course, I'll let you guys know. But hopefully sometime next week, either Tuesday or Thursday, we're probably going to get that newswire where Rockstar just go over the DLC, maybe give us a new trailer and a bunch of screenshots. So that is definitely something to look forward to. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please drop it a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA content. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next one.